everyone is talking about generative AI today, and I'm here to share with you a concrete case of how we transformed product development for one of the world leading chemical companies in the world. Before that, I'll briefly introduce you to Visium. At Visium, we enable organizations to become future proof and leader in AI and data. What does it mean? It means becoming a company that is able to generate 20 to 30% of their overall profits by using AI. To do so, we accompany, we accompany businesses through the entire life cycle of their data, from setting a good AI and data strategy, to establishing the right foundations with cloud and data engineering, to launching AI initiatives, scaling them strategically, and facilitating cultural change and adoption through change management. In a few numbers, we are a team of 60 engineers and consultants across Europe. We have done over 100 initiatives uh, in AI and data. As David has said, we've been uh, one of the fastest growing companies in Switzerland and in Europe, and we have 50 enterprise clients, some of which you can see here. Now, to give you concrete examples of the type of solutions that we build for businesses, uh, I want to share with you three examples. The first one is applying generative AI for chemical formulations, which is the case we will deep dive in a moment, allowing the company to accelerate the time to market and reduce their costs. The second example is streamlining preclinical trials for Roche by automatically detect detecting lesion in toxicological studies. And the last example of one of the projects we did uh, recently is uh, enabling Nestlé to monitor their production line through an embedded device that leverages microphones, AI models that can detect and classify anomalies and alert the operator in their control room. And now let's deep dive in this case of how we, together with our client, reinvented the fragrance and flavor design process. So first to start, it's important to share a point that our client DSM Ferminish has over a century old history. If we compare the companies side by side, the numbers are incredibly different. From a company with 30,000 employees to us with only a team of 60, 125 plus years of history, us being uh, in business for five years as of now, and uh, a company that does 13 billion in business and us just being one of the young, so to say, startups in this world. Yet, as big as these differences are, it's the same amount of synergies that we have been able to unlock together through a strategic partnership. Let's look at the challenge that we wanted to solve together. It, co it uh, concerned a process that has been refined over decades and decades. First, to give you a, a quick overview of the creation uh, process of fragrances, it's important to understand that every fragrance is done for a specific application, which can be a body lotion, a candle, a detergent, a shampoo, or a fine fragrance. Every fragrance has a specific olfactory profile, which can be woody, musky, floral, with primary and secondary notes. And every fragrance has specific performance criteria, which can be the scent trail that it's left behind the fragrance, the longevity of the fragrance of how long it stays, it's, it, it uh, gives a smell after it's been applied, the uniqueness of the fragrance, and other types of such criteria. So the process at, firm, at DSM Firminish is that they receive a brief from their client, which is similar to an RFP. Their clients are companies such as Procter & Gamble, Unilever, L'Oreal, and, the, and their clients come with a specific request for a desired scent qualitative criteria, and a specific time and financial constraints. And from there, DSM Firminish perfumers start a complex trial and error process under a short amount of time. It's interesting to note here that this initiative has started five years ago. And five years ago, DSM Firminish did not hesitate to invest in what I would consider the boldest and most ambitious project. Five years ago, nobody even talked about AI and they decided to bet together with us on generative AI. Now it's easy to say that that bet would have paid off because generative AI became so popular, but back in the day, it was quite an audacious move. So what happens when AI meets perfumery design? We 
have been able to apply AI to automatically generate this formula and given a specific target application, a specific olfactory profile, a specific cost, the AI automatically lear learning on millions and millions of formula is able to create completely novel fragrances. And so we taught AI on millions of formulas with a palette of 4,000 ingredients and all of their technical information as well as all of the technical factors of many different applications, how, based on the olfactory profile creation cost and application, provide many, many different formula candidates. Then those farm formula candidates are post-processed and selected until reaching one that, uh, that reaches the market. The journey took around two years. And only a couple of months after having started, we were able to generate the first fragrance. That was in early, to, uh, early 2019. And it was already an incredible, mind-blowing result that created a cultural shockwave within the company and facilitated a data-driven change. A few months later, we did also our first fragrance applied to a specific application, which gave the first shampoo. And around two years later, we started bringing uh, formulas that were market-ready and client-ready. So how do perfumers work hand in hand together with the AI? First, given on a specific brief, they give a formula request to the AI model that, and the AI model generates the formula. And for a given amount of time, the perfumers have been sharing their feedback that we have been able to use to keep refining the model until the model and the technology became sufficiently mature to use it to answer to client briefs and, br and bring new creations to the market. To complete uh, this uh, quick case study, let's talk about the business impact. The disruptive potential of the solution has even won the Swiss Digital Innovation of the Year Award uh, to DSM Firminich. And uh, the formulas that have been generated have both, be, both been highly unique, very pleasant for their customers. It has been able to reduce significantly the time to market, the, the time it took them to bring new formulas to the market. And, it, and they have now used it to hundreds of different uh, client briefs. Even the perfumers themselves have been uh, sharing how this solution has brought them ideas that they would have never thought of, and that the AI is able to understand the, the differences, the regional differences between different types of uh, preferences amongst uh, consumers. That's it for the case study of Visium. And uh, we can hand it over to Begonia to share a bit about the disruptive. Thank you, Alan.